hope you're well welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is seppi and this is my special guest my best friend ever it's my dad say hi hello but you guys can call him fashion um so today i've asked my dad to join me on the channel and he has no idea what the video is about so you guys will know by the title so i'm just going to tell my dad so dad, yesterday I asked loads of people on Instagram to send me all of their, like, any problems that they're having and that I would answer them as best as I can, yeah? So then loads of people started sending in relationship problems. I was answering some of them on Instagram and people were like, well, you know, you're single, you don't have someone in your life, what makes you think you're so good at giving advice? To which I thought... You're right, maybe I'm not the best person to give advice. Why don't I ask a guy who's been married for almost 40 years, yeah? Happy wife, happy life. Yes, it is. <laughs> so today, you are going to give my Instagram followers relationship advice. Okay. Yeah, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, so guys, I'm going to be reading out your issues to him one by one. And you have to make it short and sweet, okay? Because that isn't, look, there is a lot of issues to get through, okay? So try and be as fast as you can, okay? Okay. So. I think is if you, if you see, you can divide them maximum by three groups. Three groups? Yes. Because one group, they try to find it and they couldn't. <laughs> Okay. One group they find and they couldn't keep it. Okay. And the, another one they think they don't want it, but they want it. <laughs> Which group am I? You are the. It's because you are which on that group you are busy and you are not to that come and situation. Yeah. To go for it, but <laughs> you should have. Mm, the situation and the time because if it does uh, you have a good, good time and you have a suitable time for these important things you can go for it because it's not a easy and it's not a simple true it's so simple but it's not simple wise words already guys we already know that he's gonna be giving out good advice so dad some of this stuff is gonna have slang that you won't know okay but i want you to guess what you think it means okay so a girl has written, um, this guy and I were talking for a while and it looked like it was going to lead to something, yeah? But then he ghosted me. Do you know what this means? No, explain a little bit. So, uh, yeah. it seemed like our friendship was going to lead to something, but then he ghosted me. So, slang, ghosted, means like he disappeared like a ghost. Okay. Mm, you think this is bad, but I think it's not bad. Why is not bad? Because if some relationships is going to go through, for example, m me and your mom is nearly 40 years. Yeah. From the beginning, it was, um, it's come on the foundation enough strong. Mm -hmm. If you, your relation, it hasn't got the foundation enough strong you can't put your life on it it's better if it's wanna go it's better go earlier <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> you guys i always come to my dad for life advice and now you guys are seeing why question one okay. you threw it out of the park he says he loves me but that he's very busy with work and uni is he serious about me yes maybe as i told you Still, it doesn't come that it be the time for him to have enough time to put for you because he, he's he got on mind a lot of things he wants to do it for you. But at the moment, he's got some things important, not just for him, for your future in future. Yeah, okay, I get it. And for this case, he thinks it's better he finished that it's come to you, relax, and he's got something, something very good for both of you in his back, and he can, you can, and they can put the relation enough strong and continue. Yeah. For example, if he's coming now, 
he's got a uni he's got so many things yeah. to do and his mind is busy and he couldn't concentrate for something you say to him and you may be misunderstanding for you oh he didn't look at me he didn't put enough time for me this that is better uh, okay he go for a while and back for you for you just for you know for for yeah girl. so true can i just say this is the difference between how girls think like what girls think men are thinking versus what men are actually thinking whereas a girl will be like oh no he's just you know playing games he doesn't have time for like he does have time he doesn't want to give it that is something some look we are talking about the people are serious Mm. Not the people, okay, some people, this is the job for them. They come, they want to, as a bee, you know, Rambo. They oh, come bee. and sit, go, sit, go, sit, yeah. go. You can't count on them. Mm. Uh, I was married to someone who went through it all for me, but ended up having an emotional affair. We don't need any emotional affair. It no. means like an affair. Very like not like Robert Ted Ashton was a fair, very much on how much by telephone by a kiss in the so that corner or not on like basically it's uh, having like always talking to another woman, but like nothing sexual happens between them, just like talking. Okay. Like, what should she do? Look, I think these type of people mm, they haven't got uh, enough mm, confidence. You know, because they think if he's come to, to his wife, um, he's for him because he hasn't got enough confidence, maybe he does something, you know, his wife doesn't like it. For this case, he's scared to come and join the wife for the doing something. For this case, he wants to show he's important for someone else. Mm. But the reality is this. He wants to show to his wife, okay, I'm important for someone else, but still I'm with you. Yeah, so true. These type of people, they have a problem and they should go definitely to someone to direct them to find the best way because this is not the good way. Is this what you think about anyone who cheats? No, it's not the cheating. That is not the cheating. Cheating is completely different. What do you think about someone who cheats? Because I get a lot of questions. Okay, of if someone, someone cheated cheat, on me, should I forgive them? Blah 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 blah. No. Some look. I tell you one thing in the beginning. Some people maybe mistake. If yeah. they mistake, they understand they mistake. That's you mistake this. What is the mistake? you know it was wrong and you don't want to do it again yeah. that's the mistake yeah okay mistake forget it yeah but this is some people this is the way always they want to do continue yeah they don't they want to show it's a mistake but it's not the mistake this is the people used to it yeah and these people they don't value to put your life for them mm. So true, you heard it here first. But how would you know? How would you know that, like, the person who's saying, Oh, I'm sorry, it was a mistake, how do you know that they're being serious, that they know it was a mistake? But it should, because, for example, if the people mistake, they definitely, definitely, by the, by the act they do, they show they are very, very mm, sad, they are very. Mm, guilty. They are guilty, they feel guilty and they want to do something to repair this and for this one, if you forget, and one thing I tell you, if you forget, forgive, you should forgive and finish it, mm. not always you back to him and for something else you back to him, oh you mean you do this yeah. and I forgive you why you didn't, oh why you didn't wash the dishes, I forgive you, you didn't do it again, <laughs> why you didn't clean it, <laughs> basically no, you're saying don't very... use it, like don't, if you forgive them for something, don't bring it back up again, like again. You, have, you have to forgive them completely, That's yeah, it. okay, got it, that clears up cheaters. Next, I'm talking to this guy and he's really good looking, nice and generally a good guy. But 
he's not my usual type and something is just pulling me back from him what should i do okay uh the first thing i tell you one thing about the good looking for a man or for woman mm. if you've been in love with someone and he's and she is very good looking and something happened for him and by accident or something happened for him uh -huh. or for her yeah. and he's lost his sight and for his light he's, he's lost his beauty you should finish with him mm. No, mm. if you love him or her, that's nothing with the face. Face, it's for the start. But you should go for something inside is good. Something you like it inside. Because at, after maximum two or three years, everybody is sim the same. Mm. But not that some people is very ugly. <laughs> no, that is something else. You know, and these type of people not just ugly face, they have a ugly inside as well. Oh, okay, ugly, ugly personality, yeah. I yes, get it. for this case, it shows is they are not good. But, <laughs> but I tell you one thing, after when you see these type of people, and you continue, you continue with them, you say, oh, they are very nice. That is nothing. Because inside they have a lot of things is connected, just cover that. It's, it's bring a lot of beauty for that. So what you're saying is internal beauty is much more powerful Definitely. than external beauty. But that face beauty is important as well, but not all. For a starting. Okay. She's saying, but he's not my usual type and something is pulling me back. What do you think she should do? Why are you starting? You, you haven't got anything else you want to play with guy, with these guys. For that and real. Stop playing games, Han, is what he's saying. Okay. Yeah. So basically, don't text someone because no, you're no, bored. No. Yeah. yeah. What should I say when a guy that is nice but I don't like him asks me out without hurting his feelings? Again, is this look? If you don't like the guys, be honest and don't let, don't play with him. Okay, have because you... it's in the if if you don't like someone, play with you. Yeah. That's it. Uh, look, if you don't want to play, someone play with you. Yeah. Don't play with someone else. It's true. True that, guys. Because like you have feelings at the end no. of the day. You're a human. If you don't like getting played, but how do you say it like to someone? where i've had this issue okay personally i've had this issue where i don't want to upset someone i will tell them like really politely like, we're just friends whatever yeah and then they're pile like they don't let go and it gets to the point where the only way you can you can come and be like come on just let it go i don't like you is you kind of have to i tell you one thing they are not they are not the honest people what do you mean? Because if they be there, because they, if they are honest, they unrest, they should understand. Okay, if you don't like them, yes, and they should respect you. If someone, if you like someone, you should respect him. Yeah. And my, I love you. Okay, I should respect you. So I always say that too. I always say, in my opinion, for a relationship to be good, you need trust. You need respect, like you have to respect each other and respect each other even when you're not around each other, like if someone comes up to you and tries to the talk to you. The important things from the beginning, maybe you was a very small child, I tell you this, go with someone, it's your type. Yeah. No. Your type is, what is your type? Your education, your family, your group everything but i tell you this is my advice to everyone yeah if you want to go for relationships is continue don't forget this you should go with someone it's from your from your side what you mean your side for example some people is not i don't want to be bad for example some in community they don't like them go with another community if you go with this community and you break the roof day rules f from the beginning maybe they they accept it but in the future you see they don't accept you 
and they put you out and this is is very harm it's harm you mm -hmm. and it's very bad it's you, you broke on that time and it's very bad it's hurt you mm -hmm. You should go with someone definitely is your type, your group, your the same education, the same as you, anything you want, they want. So what my dad is saying basically when he says your type is pick someone who has the same mentality definitely. as you. So if you are open and you don't mind what the other person's religion is, for example, like we are open, we don't mind what what my partner's religion would be, then pick someone who is the same. If you, our family is open and doesn't mind if my future boyfriend, husband, whatever is not Iranian, then I should pick someone who also doesn't mind if I am Iranian. Yeah. 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 So what, that's what he's trying to say is pick someone who has the same mentality as you. And another thing my dad always says is Iranian saying kabutar ba kabutar baz ba baz konad hamjens ba hamjens parvaz. So he always it's said, birds of a f feather flock together. Um, that so, is very important. Yeah. And educated. Your family and their family should be the same level, not a lot different. Yeah. Because if it's a lot different, in future you get the problem. Your children, your child going, for example, for auntie's house, and their aunties is, for example, they are not educated the same as uncle. Yeah. And what's happening? They, they, your children see different class. In their house, they find, is find something. In that house, they find something else. And you are in between. And your child is between as well. And they can't, you, you can't do those mix it together. Yeah. It doesn't mix. Yeah. It's come a big problem. Always you got to argue, and the argue is starting from small things. And you think it's a small, but it's not a small. Okay, someone said he's a really good person, but when he gets angry, he's the worst, and he can be so mean and so rude. What should I do? Okay. He say he's a good person, or uh, every everybody else say he's a good Us, person. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Like, what do you mean? He can't be that good of a person if when he's angry, he's mean and rude. But I think what... And what, what the good point it is, for this guy, he know what's a big, what's a problem with him. And if you know your... You can, um, you can go and you... Mm, if you know what your issue, if you know what your pro it, so what you're saying is the most important thing is if you understand what your problem is, then you can fix your problem. Like the first step is knowing. And this knowing is very problem. good for him. He knows what's the problem with, him, what's wrong with him, and he it's a, a, a first thing and biggest step for him. And my advice to him it is. First of all, it's a girl though. She's, she's saying she's, her boyfriend she's... is mean and rude. Okay, try to ask him to be calm. And every time he's angry, let him be alone. Yeah. When he understood, he uh, and and tell him, okay, I leave you because when you are, you you are angry, you do something bad. For this case, I leave you alone to be cool and understood what you want to do after you if after five ten minutes or half an hour he's cooled down it's still it's still he does wrong mm -hmm. he's not a good person he should he should she should leave him my advice to everybody i know because i was a police officer in iran and police officer on time i was very young the people have a problem, family problem, they came to the police station. And I saw from that time, the people have a problem, women, men coming, argue, fighting, men mm, shouting and beating the woman. And this happened, I saw so many things and it's hurting me is a lot. But my advice it is. You you have one life. If you understand your partner is not your type and is not change, you should finish it. Not go with everything, any easy problem. Oh, finish it is not my mm -hmm. type. First of all, before you marry, 
you should think, you should try everything, but not very bad. With something you for you understand, this is not your type, and you waste your life with this person. You should finish it because your life, if still you are 90 years, one year left from your life, your life for one minute is got a value to be nice and peaceful. Honestly, I feel like you should write a book. I swear I'm not just saying this because you're my dad, but I feel like you are so um, in, like intelligent. I remember in secondary school, my friends would call up me and my dad for advice, and we used to call him Socrates, and I feel like now you guys can call him that My too. English is not good enough no, to No, your English is really good. No. Your English is so good. Okay, we're gonna do the last one, okay? Okay. Last one. I went on a date with a boy, he kissed me, um, he texts me the next day, and then I haven't heard from him since. What should I do? What? She went on a date with this boy. And he kissed him. He, he kissed, kissed her. her. Yeah. And he texts her the next day like, oh, how are you, whatever, yeah? But she hasn't heard from him since. Should she text him? Should she just leave him? What should she do? <laughs> She should forget him. Why? Because the guys was something wrong with it. <laughs> because we, you, how it's possible you play with the uh, with feeling of someone? Yeah, I hate that. I hate people who. Why? Yeah. They these people they want to do bully someone and they should go with someone do bully with them. They definitely, the life is bring someone to bully him as well. But don't worry, girls. You find someone is love you and the love is important things. Oh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. You three. Wait. Four. We have to say bye. Okay. Okay. First of all, I just want to say you guys have to give this video a huge thumbs up for my dad. He is incredible at advice yeah. and tell me, tell me he needs to give more relationship advice on my channel. I think he does. So give this video a thumbs up. Talk to us in the comments. Tell my dad because he's going to read the comments what you thought of his advice. But um, I love you so much. Thank you for doing this with me. I've always wanted to do this with you. Don't forget to check out my socials. They're always linked down below. But my Instagram is Persian Bunny, which is where everyone sent in the questions that we just answered. And my Snapchat is Sepi Samai. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Um, oh, I tell you one thing by goodbye. Goodbye. And if you want to change the world, start from yourself. Okay, Socrates. Chichri, Chichri, Chichri,